just getting ready to leave Masset. Nice and calm, kind of overcast, and looks like it's going to be a rainy day. It's supposed to get 15 knots of wind on the stern today, pushing us all the way over to Dundas Island. Hopefully that'll turn out to be. It's nice and calm right now, which will make it easier to get off the docks. This is where we're at now. 58 nautical miles over to Dundas Island here. I've been drawing our, our uh, progress on this wall chart here. Let's see, we started last summer down Vancouver, came up the inside, and one day we'll end up back in Vancouver. Oh my. What? No oil on the dipstick. What the hell? That's not good. That's all the oil we have. Oh Garth, what have you done with all your oil? So that was a bit of a setback. It wasn't the end of the world though. I had to wait an hour and uh, hike her into town, bought some oil. How's it look today, Captain? The day, how's it looking? Right. Windless? <laughs> Windless? on the front of the boat. Uh, you're funny, dude. Well, back there is Masset. Way back there. I can't believe how far away it is. It doesn't seem like we've been gone very long. Well, if there's anything good, we're still doing over five knots. Anything else you'd like to say, Captain? Give me some wind. I want wind. Well, whistling didn't help. So much for that old superstition. It was absolutely breathless that day. We did stop a couple of times and uh, check the oil. And yeah, no problems at all. As a matter of fact, we never had that problem again all summer long. So this is a bit of a tense moment coming into this anchorage. Edith Harbor, some pretty cool rocks, but it's narrow and it's low tide. I'm guessing we have. Well, here is our anchorage for tonight. Lonely little loon over there, making the most sad, sad sounds. This is a very pretty, pretty little place. So we're in Edith Harbor. Oh yeah, my beer. That was the only time we've ever had to anchor this, or try it twice with this anchor, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's rough over there. Of course, our uh, anchor chain markings are really, <laughs> really bad. I was letting it out and letting it out. I'm gonna pay extra special attention because you know, like there's not much room in here. And then next thing I know, I'm out the rope. Oh, that's where I saw you dive. Yeah, it's like, like go grab the rope. <laughs> 35 more miles and we'll be in Port Edward tomorrow. Do you want to talk to the camera? I have to go down and do dinner. No, I'm done talking to the camera. Okay, until tomorrow. The camera never talks about it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
We arrived in Port Edward that afternoon and hauled out the next day. We spent two weeks on the hard and then splashed and sailed for Prince Rupert, where we spent the next two weeks at a dock doing even more projects. Unfortunately, our external hard drive failed while editing this video, and we lost the rest of our footage for the summer. Hopefully we can recover it when we get back to the city. Either way, there will be new videos coming up showing our winter boat projects. A stack pack, a dinghy overhaul, and more. So ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on anything. Thanks very much for watching. We do hope you enjoyed it and will give us some much appreciated feedback. A like, a subscribe, or a comment goes a long way for a new channel struggling to get noticed. Cheers! That's how we get down. Yeah, da, 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 da.